Queen Elizabeth allegedly left behind a $925 million will following her death on September the 8th. According to Woman's Day, the majority of the royal family will be getting something from the Queen, except Harry and Meghan, of course. A source claimed that the Queen made sure to reward Princess Anne for all of her hard work for the royal family. And since she will never be Queen, the Queen decided to leave Balmoral Castle with her. While Balmoral Castle is technically passed down to King Charles, there are whispers that she made the Prevozo that Anne could use it whenever she wants. The Queen also left some of her horses under Princess Anne's care, and the latter has been doing her part in convincing King Charles not to sell their mother's racehorses. The Queen also entrusted Buckingham Palace and Clarence House to King Charles, and he will also serve as the caretaker of the Queen's other properties, like St James's Palace, Kensington Palace, Windsor Castle, and Sandringham. Prince Edward and his family, on the other hand, were allegedly given free reign of Wood Farm on the Sandringham estate. After all, the Wessex family had so many wonderful memories there with Prince Philip. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, allegedly inherited the Queen's tiaras. Prince William's wife is expected to inherit the late monarch's pricey jewellery collection, set to be worth a whopping $110 million. The 300 personal pieces belong to the Queen and not the Crown, an important distinction. In July, sources said, She's been focusing on her beloved pieces and who deserves what. The whispers are that she's made some last-minute changes to her will that will be a shocking surprise for her heirs. Meghan and her daughter Lilibet are expected to get the royal shaft. There's a very good chance the Queen won't leave either of them any jewels of value, the pal revealed. It's not surprising, since they're not members of the royal family anymore, the insider continued, but it would be a real slap in the face. If the Queen does indeed cut Meghan out, some people think it won't be out of spite, but practicality... Others say it would be the Queen sending a message to Meghan and Harry, you reap what you sow. The late Queen Elizabeth II's jewellery collection is the most impressive in the world, with everything from glittering tiaras to diamond encrusted diadems, strings of pearls, and more at her disposal. One of the rarest pieces in the Crown Jewels collection of 23,578 gemstones is the George IV State Diadem, officially known as the Diamond Diadem. George IV commissioned Rundell and Bridge to make the piece in 1820 for £8,216 at the time. It's estimated to be worth nearly 800000 today and is one of the most symbolic crowns in the royal collection. The Queen has worn the diadem several times during a reign, namely to the first state opening of Parliament of a reign in 1952 and on the journey to a coronation in 1953. It's particularly special because it's strictly reserved for sovereigns and Queen consorts. When Prince William eventually becomes king, his wife will inherit Camilla's title of Queen Consort. The Princess of Wales will then share the privilege to wear the prized jewels. The Queen's private collection, worth millions of US dollars and comprised of family heirlooms, gifts and items bought by the monarch herself, is expected to be passed down to members of the Windsor family, starting with King Charles. It is likely that she would want to pass on items from a private collection to her loved ones, royal commentator Josh Rom told the New York Post. The bulk of the collection will pass to Charles, with Camilla as his queen consort, and then Kate, so they may not be left anything big in the will.